In this brief screencast, I'm going to take a look at how to add mixed numbers. So here's my first example. 3 and 1 half added to 5 and 5 6. And it turns out the process for adding mixed numbers is pretty straightforward. I'm going to go ahead and separate out the whole numbers from the fraction parts. Remember that 3 and 1 half really means 3 plus 1 half and 5 and 5 6 really means 5 plus 5 6. So we're just going to add the pieces separately. So for example, 3 plus 5 is 8, so I've now added those pieces together, that's the whole number pieces. And now I'm going to treat the fractions separately. And in this case, I can see that a least common denominator for 1 half and 5 6 would need to be a 6. And I get that by multiplying the top fraction, numerator and denominator by 3. I get 3 over 6, and of course, 5 6 is still equal to 5 6, I'm not changing that at all. And now I can add these two fractions together. I get 8 over 6. However, I can reduce those values, so I'm going to do so. And when I reduce 8 6, it becomes 4 thirds. So right now I have 8 plus 4 thirds. However, 4 thirds is an improper fraction. When we write our mixed number result, we cannot have an improper fraction as part of the mixed number but we can turn 4 thirds into another mixed number by doing a division. 3 goes into 4 one time. Subtract that, I get 1 third as a result. So now we have 8 plus 1 and 1 third. Those add up to give us 9 and 1 third as our result. So that's the process for adding mixed numbers. We simply combine the whole number parts together Combine the fraction parts together, simplify. If there are any improper fractions remaining, we convert those into mixed numbers and combine the remaining pieces to get our final answer. Let me do one more example just to make sure we've got this down. So let's add 2 and 3 fifths. And I'm going to add to that 7 and 9 twenty fifths. Again, I'm going to draw a dashed line between the fractions and the whole numbers to separate them. 7 plus 2 is 9, so I can add those together. And here I can see that there's an LCD for the fractions. It turns out to be 25. 5 times 5 is 25. 3 times 5 is 15. I can now go ahead and turn 3 fifths into 15 20 fifths as an equivalent fraction. And of course, 9 20 fifths stays the same. I now add the two fractions together. I get 24 over 25. That cannot be reduced any further, so my answer is 9 and 24 25ths.